Okay, I got the B plus connected. Uh, that's this circuit here. So we have the A here, the A plus battery, which is one and a half volts. We have the B plus battery, which will be in numerous voltages from 22 up to 135. So there'll be different voltages on each of these for different radios. Um, they're showing 22, 45, 67, 90, which is what we'll use in the radio we're putting in. They don't have this one marked. They have this at 135. Um, but you can see they go up by roughly 23 volts. So uh, this is 90. This would be about 113. And, I mean, 112 and then, you know, 135, somewhere around there. But... They won't be exact because the diodes are, you know, the what they are. And so the voltages will be ballpark, but it doesn't matter. They'll be really close to what they're supposed to be. And that'll supply any radios B+. Plus. And then now I'm about to start the C circuit, which will be here. And this will be the C minus C plus here. And so we got a um, variable resistor to put in here. We get another regulator to put a uh, bridge rectifier to put in over here. And another diode and another capacitor and uh, one more resistor. And then that'll complete the C, which won't be used in this radio, but we have the components. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the board as though it was using the C so that it'll be there if it's ever needed. So, because uh, this power supply could you be used in other radios down the road if need be. And then we got to connect the power cord and do a test. So I'll be back after we do the C, get the C in, then we will uh, do a test, set the voltages, and see what they are and mark all the B plus voltages. And there we have it. I'll be back. Okay, Paul here, and I'm continuing to work on this battery eliminator circuit. Sorry for moving the camera there. Uh, we're going to try it out. We got everything connected, and so this is showtime. I'm going to take my volt ohm meter here and put it here. I'm not sure you can see that. Um, let me see. Well, you have to take my word for it. I'll just show you voltages as we go. I'm going to use some jumper leads. Well, one jumper lead for the negative. So we'll connect a black ground on here. And the first place we'll start with is with the uh, A battery. So this is the A negative here. And we'll just use the probe for the positive. I'll put this on DC volt. And I'm going to put this on my variac and bring it up slow because we want to test it, make sure that we got it all wired correctly and there's no mistakes. Unplugged. So let me plug it back in. Okay. And then bring it up. Okay, we're roughly at 41 volts. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we got 2 volts DC. And on the A1, and I'm going to check the B+. Plus. And so we'll move this over to the B plus, then B, B minus, and check one of those and see what we got. Okay, we got nothing there, which makes sense because here we're getting closer. Okay, we got 41 volts there, and that's about what we're putting into it. So let's check the uh, C battery and see what we got here. 
Okay, we got four and a roughly 4.8 volts. So I think we're okay. We can slowly bring it up. I'm going to put it back on the B plus and bring the B plus up and see what happens. Okay. 87 volts. Got 100 volts going in. Let's get about 110. All right, but there I got 118 volts going in. And on this one, we got 125. Here we got 104, 84. That'll be our 90. 63, 43. 22, oh, that's ground. Okay, so the B plus is working fine. Let's go to our C and see what we got there. Okay, and we got 11.4 volts of, on the C. Okay, we're not gonna really adjust the C because we don't really need it, but we are gonna start with the A and we want this at 1.5 volts, which we got four. So we need to turn that down. I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna use my screwdriver here to bring that down. Put that there. And let's see if we can get that down. So that's going up, let's bring it the other way. I'm going to get it under two volts. Oh, look at that. What sensitivity? I'm at 1.5, 1 1.47, 1 1.53, 1 1.52, 1 1.53. Let's see if I can get it down a little bit more. It's jumping pretty good, about a volt up and down when I move it. Okay, there we go, 1.52 volts DC. So we got the DC set and the C plus, like I said, I'm not really concerned with what the C plus is on, but just to get an idea what range we get, we'll connect that one on. Okay, it's at 11.42 and if I check, change the potentiometer, it'll go anywhere from zero to 21.69. So I'll leave it in the middle. We're not using that one. So that's pretty good and it's regulated. Um, actually all these voltages are regulated so they stay pretty constant. And uh, we got a thermistor on the B plus, so if it got too hot, it would shut the B plus line off uh, by turning off this transistor here. Yes. Q uh, unit. So let me go back to B plus. Now remember, if you're working on this, this is high voltage, even though it's, um, you know, DC, it's still high voltage. So we got 125 max we can get out of this. And let's see what the percentage is off of what they said it should be. This hand, that should be 22.8. And we've got, I mean 22, we got 22.8. So that Zeta diode is doing exactly what they say it should do. And we got another two 22s another 22, which should give us 45 here. And we're getting 43.26. So that's not bad. And then the next one should be, they're saying 67 line. And we're getting 63.8, so roughly 64. And then of course the next one would be the 90, which is the one we're using and it's given us 84.2.
which is fine because when I was running the radio with um, nine volt batteries, it was dropping down to 80 volts and, and it was it, it was fine. Uh, this one, they don't rate. And here we have 104.8. So we've got power there that we can use if we needed it. And our top line, which is supposed to be 134, 135, is actually at uh, 125. So it's 10 volts low on the high end. So apparently these Zeta diodes are not as efficient as they could be, but uh, they're doing they're doing the job, and that's good. We got all the voltages we need. We could run any radio off uh, those voltage uh, that, those voltage ranges. So. We're good to go. Now we have a battery eliminator circuit for a DC radio that we're re rebuilding. And I'll link to the series on the DC radio that we're working on. And uh, you'll be able to see um, though that series on that radio if you want to watch it and then see this in action when we connect it up. So... Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this series on building a, a DC battery eliminator for DC battery radios interesting. And uh, if you have, please consider giving this a thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you. Okay, I've got this battery eliminator connected to the radio that it's going into. And this is a farm radio, a DC radio, and that's the cabinet for it there. And it's an Echo Phone EC600, I believe. And I've got my um, power supply at 120 volts. And right now I've got uh, my digital voltmeter here uh, connected uh, to the, <clears throat> excuse me, to the A battery, which is back here. So this radio uses 1.5 volts. You've already seen me in the video, previous video, tune this for 1.5 volts using that potentiometer. And that's where we are. So 1.5, 1.5 two volts. So plenty of volts to drive the filaments of this radio, which these are new tubes, but this one's bad. I've got uh, one on, I've got a, actually I got two on auto on that. So there's the 1.5 volts, and this is the B plus chain here, which this radio uses, uh, you know, upwards of 80 volts. So if we connect across there, take this off, Here's our ground for B plus, and this is the 90 volt connection here, and we got 83.9 volts, 84 volts, which is plenty. And so right now I'm driving be because this tube is not working. I'm driving an RF signal from my signal generator up there uh, through the antenna here. So I'll turn the set on. And there's the signal coming through. This radio is being totally powered by this DC eliminator. And you see it's, uh, it's working fine. Volume control, which I haven't finished cleaning yet. But the speaker's in the cabinet. So it's running. The filaments are running off the A supply and the plate current or the B plus that runs the radio is running off the B supply. And so this unit will drive this radio without a problem. And uh, um, I could even go up higher in voltage, but this is where we've got it connected. And that's where I'm going to leave it because that's plenty and it'll last a lot longer running at 84 volts than it would be running at, say, 110 volts or something like that. The radio is rated for 90, so... We're actually drawing, well, let's see what we're drawing. 
we're drawing 120 milliamps or 10 watts. So that's, that's really good. Uh, very little current draw on this battery eliminator to drive this uh, farm style DC battery radio. So thanks for watching the video and uh, hope you enjoyed watching the assembly of this battery eliminator circuit. I wanted you to see um, that it does power radio and how it works. And so, uh, you know, if you found this series um, beneficial, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. Don't just run away. Uh, consider uh, supporting me and it helps me keep these videos going. And I thank you for it. So have a good day.